The Weedale Natural Food Management Demonstrator Project is an exciting and innovative project looking at putting natural food management features in to a large area. We've been allocated £2.1 million worth of funding from the government to explore how natural food management would work on this scale. The area we're looking at within Weedale is 100 kilometres square, so trying to understand how natural food management would work in such a large context and the effects it would have and potentially the reduction in flood risk element we need to explore in more detail. The reason we deal is prone to flooding is due to the fact that it is a, a steep catchment area and it also responds very quickly to rainfall. So what happens as the rain falls onto the hillside, it runs down into all the burns and the main river and what that does is holds a lot of water that wouldn't normally be there. So in essence what it does is it raises the water level and it floods properties on either sides of the burn. But there's also issues with surface water flooding and along the main roads as well as across the fields running into people's properties. We're standing next to the Killerburn, which is just upstream from Weirhead, which is the start of the River Weir. Killerburn historically has suffered the effects of historic mining. There's also a quarry to the left of us and it bears the scars within the landscape. The landscape is also quite steep, so on my right hand side you can see that the, the hillside is quite steep, which means water runs off and moves into the burn quite quickly. When rains in the area. So looking at natural flood management within the Killetburn area, the aim is to slow the water down before it gets into the burn itself. And there are similar burns that we'll be working on within the area that do have very similar characteristics. They go from steep, like Killetburn, um, to a lot steeper in the headwaters of Middle Hawkburn, for example.